Hey guys, this is Lockie, and this is the 8th part of my VR tutorial series. Here's what we're going to be making in this episode. So yeah, in this episode we're going to be creating a reloading ammo system. Uh, so basically, yeah, you can get the magazine, you can put it into it, it automatically attaches at the moment, we'll add an animation soon enough. Um, notice how I shot 4 shots, uh, there's 8 in total. So you can take it out, it won't shoot. You can put it back in, it'll shoot again. Uh, that time 3, so that means there's 1 left. You can take it out, won't shoot, put it back in, shoots the last one, and then it's out of ammo and won't shoot anymore. So that's what we're going to be creating in this episode. Okay, so today we're actually going to be starting in the editor. So we'll start with the magazine slot, and then we'll move to the actual magazine. So select the gun. It's literally just a cube. We might add graphics for that a bit later, but not yet. So what you need to do is add a uh, cube component. Well, not really a component, just a child. Um, open up the transform, which is for some reason closed. I'll scale it down to maybe 0.1 in height. Sorry if you can hear the motorbikes in the background. I'm um, not sure why they're there, but 0.9 and 0.9. We'll move that down by 0.5, and then we'll just make it so that it is. Actually, I think that's everything. Um, we need to add a component to it now. I uh, will do that a bit later, actually. Um, first, we will add a child, which is the attach point. We'll just do um, minus 0 0.5, which is relative by the way, so it's not actually minus 0 0.5, it's minus 0 0.5 of already 0 0.1, 0 0.1 or something like that, so it's really small. But um, basically what that'll do is that'll just be where the actual magazine will connect to, and then we'll add a attach point to the magazine later so that it'll actually connect right. Um, so now to the magazine. Uh, we'll just create another component, um, just a cube actually, uh, again, I'm not sure why I'm saying that. Scale it down to 0 0.1, 0 0.1, uh, and 0.1, I'm not sure why that didn't work. Okay, so with the dimensions, I think I'm actually going to scale that down to about 0 0.5, and then I'll make this the exact same dimensions except a bit taller. So 0 0.5, oh, 0 0.05, because again it's um, 0.5, 0 0.1, and 0 0.09. And that should be good. Basically what will happen is that will store the bullet data, and it will get connected to that, which will transmit the actual bullet data to the gun, so it will know how much ammo it has. So now what we're going to do is actually move on to creating the components. Okay, so for the magazine slot, um, I think we'll actually give it a separate material so it's easier to see. So I'm just going to do the materials thing and probably just drag in the grey texture if you already have one. And if you don't, just create one real quick. It's not that hard. So um, select that, and we'll give it a mag slot component. You can actually call it magazine slot if you'd like, but it doesn't matter. I just prefer short, short names. So select that and create it. Okay, open it up. I'll drag that into scripts later because I noticed it didn't go there automatically. Um, okay, so I actually prefer it at 80%. That might be a bit annoying for you, but that's what I like. Um, first, we're going to create a variable. So, public. Um, actually, before we add that, we're probably going to actually have to create the class. So, we'll create the class for the magazine as well. So, select the magazine. You can just create the script. I just like you can create it in here, but I just prefer to create it um, and attach it automatically. So we'll just call this one magazine because I reckon mag is a bit short for a class name. And again, just a naming convention, just capitalize all your class names. Okay, so now we actually have the uh, magazine class. We'll go into back into the magazine, uh, magazine slot class and we'll create a variable that represents the current magazine. So public magazine current mag. Okay, um, now we'll actually give the magazine some bullet data, so public int rounds left, and you can initialize that to whatever you want, so I'll just leave it without a default, and I'll create a magazine slot variable, so public uh, mag slot slot. And I'll actually make it so that this one is hidden in Inspector, so that you don't have to clutter the UI even more. Hide in Inspector. 
Okay, so right now what we need to do is actually make it so that this will attach because they're pretty much pointless at the moment considering they don't really do anything, they just sort of exist. So I'll go into the Maxalt class and I'll create an attach uh, function. So public void attach mag. And I'll actually make it so it requires a magazine to do so. Okay, um, I've got to give it a name magazine mag. And if current mag equals equals null, so if we don't already have an initialized mag, because if you have one in there already and then you place it in another one, that could be a bit confusing and not really what you want to do anyway. So um, now what we'll do is actually initialize it so that they're sort of connected to each other. So in this little if statement, do current mag equals mag and current mag dot slot equals this. You could have technically done that in the other magazine component, but later on this could be useful to have a separate because this is more so the magazine slot doing it than the actual magazine. So next, uh, we're just going to actually um, create a trigger. And to do that, first we'll have to go back into the editor and select this magazine. Um, just let the code load. Uh, and we'll give it a capsule collider. Uh, I can't really exact numbers, but I think it's z axis. Um, 0.1, where is it? 0.2. I'll just experiment with it for a second. Um, 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.5, 1. Okay. That'll do. Uh, basically, what this will do is it'll actually activate um, the connection other than the other one because it is just a normal non trigger object for the collisions. So um, we'll go back into this class and we'll actually create the um, on trigger enter function. So on trigger enter, um, it's convenient that it does have the automatic thing, but if you don't have that, it's easy enough to type out. So if other dot get component um, mag slot. Not equal now. Open up the brackets, and then what we're going to do is actually attach the mag and sort of set that so it is like transform, like aligned, I guess. So other dot get component mag slot dot attach mag. Um, what like actually yeah, just feed in this, which is the magazine. Um, and what we're going to do here is actually. We're going to do all the sort of initialization of position inside of this class in case like in other classes that are similar or maybe um, children of the magazine class, uh, you might want to have it so that they do something different, similar to with like um, the hand object or the held object pick, uh, object. So you can like initialize pick up and drop and everything like that. But um, yeah, so we'll do get component held object dot invoke drop. Um, actually, no, just drop. I can't remember I named it. Yeah, that's it. Um, just drop. Okay, so next, what we're going to do is actually initialize the transform stuff. So transform dot parent equals slot dot transform dot find attach point. This is just that little object that we created earlier. Um, I'm going to have to verify that that's the correct name so we don't get some sort of error, but should be okay for now. Uh, transform dot local position equals vector three dot zero and transform dot local Euler angles or Weyler angles whatever you call it equals vector three dot zero. Um, also, there's a problem with the like. Basically, what happens at this point is when you trigger or put the objects together, it's going to actually uh, connect them, but once you like drop the object, what's going to happen is it'll actually fly away because there's a bit of self collision going on. So what we need to do here is actually disable the main collider. So get component box collider dot enabled equals false. So that'll just stop it from flying away because obviously if you have like the actual magazine inside of the sort of gun, then I guess it'll just sort of collide with itself and fly away, which is a weird Unity bug, but 
I'm guessing it happens in most engines. So I think that's everything for this untrigger enter section. Um, now we're actually going to handle the pickup and drop. So leave that on trigger enter and do public void pick up and public void drop. Also, we don't really need these start and update functions, so we'll just remove those. Um, so in pick up, what we're going to do is we're going to check that the slot does not equal null. This is just because we want it to do something different than normal. So if slot does not equal null, then slot dot... Um, actually, we haven't written that function yet, so we'll go into magazine slot and we'll do public void detached mag. We don't need to feed it in a magazine variable. And in there, we're just going to write if current mag does not equal null, just in case for some reason it does, um, we'll do current mag dot slot equals null, just to clear the information from the actual magazine, and current mag equals null. So that will just dis disconnect everything and basically just cancel out the attach function. So in pickup, after that, we'll do slot dot to attach mag, and then we'll do outside of that function get component held object dot default pickup. So basically, it'll all just it'll always pick it up. Currently, we'll probably change that later on, but it, yeah, it'll always pick up the object, which means it'll just attach to your hand. This is the magazine, by the way, so we're not going to be picking up the magazine slot. Um, but before we do that, we actually want to make it so that it disconnects because otherwise it'll like the gun will still store this magazine as, as its magazine. Um, we haven't set that system up yet, but it will happen soon. In drop, uh, we're going to check that this slot does equal null. Open up the brackets and get component box collider dot enabled equals true. So we're going to actually re-enable that because if you're dropping it, chances are you're going to want it to um, just collide with the ground, otherwise it would just do like falling through the floor and stuff. And get component held object dot default drop. With all these like get components, I'd probably be a good idea to store them in a variable, but they'll be okay for now. Um, so next, we should probably get working on the actual connection to the gun, I think. Um, okay, so yeah, we're going into the gun script. Go back into Unity and open up the gun. Actually, I'll just show you real quick. Um, in VR tutorial, you can open up Assets, Steam VR, um, Resources, I think it is. Oh, never mind. Steam VR folder is not working. Actually, VR tutorial, um, Scripts, and then you can access everything in here. So we'll open up gun. If you didn't know that, that should be useful later on. Um, we're going to create a new variable referencing the magazine slot. So public mag slot um, mag slot. So that'll just be like the um, thing that we reference. Um, and down here, we're actually going to make it so that it checks that it does have more than one bullet. And first, we're going to have to actually reference the magazine to do that. So Magazine mag equals mag slot dot current mag. We'll initialize that mag slot component in um, the editor, so that'll be fine. And rather than checking that the held object dot parent does not equal null, we'll check that the actually no, we'll keep that there, and we'll add a few things. Um, mag does not equal null, so we'll check that it isn't like non-existent, so that we don't get a null reference exception and in here we'll do mag dot rounds left is greater than zero. Um, yep, I think that's everything to have function. Um, okay, I'll just look around and see if that's everything. Okay, I think that's everything for the code, so just go into the editor again and now we actually need to do all the sort of initialization and pick up and drop stuff. So in the magazine, um, we haven't actually given it a held object component yet, so that would be a good idea. 
Uh, initializes everything. Yep, should be good. Uh, drop and release because that would be logical considering this is just sort of like a normal non-interactable object. Uh, in pickup, we will do uh, just drag this in. Do the same in drop actually. Uh, while we're at it. Accidentally deselected it. Um, okay. Yep. Drag those both in and then do uh, magazine dot drop and magazine dot pick up just for the sake of uh, logic and easiness to work with we'll just rename this to magazine uh, this is the drawer this is the door and this is the gun this is the magazines slot and that attach point name is already correct. So that's just for naming conventions. Uh, save that. Now with the magazine, uh, we'll initialize it to maybe um, eight rounds left. Um, and I think that's everything so far. Um, yeah, I'll check back in a second. Okay, so I've just found this error. I just double click on it, open it up, and add if mag slot dot current mag does not equal null, open up the brackets, close the brackets, and that's it. Actually, that last check was technically unnecessary, but it is always good. Um, but the reason that was showing up is because we hadn't actually initialized the um, magazine, com uh, magazine slot, so we'll just drag that in there, and that should be everything. Okay, so I just ran that, and we're not getting a crash, but we are getting one fatal error. So open up uh, VR tutorial and inside of this, it's not taking am uh, ammo away pretty much. So in here we're just going to do mag dot rounds left minus minus. And that is absolutely everything. Okay, so this is definitely the last part. Um, select this, uh, cut it, and paste it into a variable. Uh, transform attach point equals that and we'll actually just replace that right there but also what we're going to do is we're going to put these two things right in front of it because there's this weird thing that unity does where if a object actually I'll give you a visual thing right here um I'm not sure whether that's in isometric mode but if you get an off-scaled object and attach an object to it for example a cube and I'll, I'll just give it like a height of 5 or something like that and I actually I'll just leave it in the exact same position even uh, if you rotate it it does some weird sort of scaling I'm not sure why that happens but a solution to that is actually rotate it before you attach it so here what we do is we just yeah um, put these before we actually assign the parent and what we do is we do um, attach point dot position and attach point dot rotation and we'll actually just swap these variables around. So transform dot rotation and dot position. So that should have everything fixed. Uh, if you tried it a minute ago, you would have noticed that it's a bit weird, but this is fine now. So that's it for the code. Okay, so that's it for this tutorial. There's a few things that I'd like to improve on and add. Like um, when you try to take away the magazine, it can be a bit hard, unless you like have your hand far enough away, it'll just snap back automatically, which is something we have to fix, and there's a few more improvements, like um, sliding animations and all that sort of stuff that I'll do in the next episode. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and check out some of my other videos. If you haven't already, subscribe and enable notifications so you can know whenever I upload. See you in the next video!